How's it going, you guys? Easy Plow 21 with a different series for a new game that I really wanted to try out. It's called Tell Me Why. It's um, kind of in the same vein of the Life is Strange games, so I'm very interested in this, honestly. Like, I really do like these type of games. Like the, oh, crap, what was it called? The Walking Dead series. I love the love those games. So yeah, let's see what's uh, let's see what's popping here. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? I'm gonna try to shut up as much as possible during cutscenes and things like this. It's chapter one, by the Can way. Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Yeesh. That's always tough. <laughs> Fireweed Residential Center. some coffee. Hockey club? Nice. Look at this kid. Look like your typical teenager, young adult types. Hello? practicing talking to people? Oh, a homecoming. Is that why, is he coming home? Please give me water and sun. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed going to freak out. Everything's fine. Not here. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, do you want to freeze your... I need to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box.
can't believe. Oh, come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Hmm. <laughs> I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. <sighs> is he gonna like this? <laughs> or is it too much? It's cute. I'm not sure I would like it particularly. Right, I stashed them down here. The keys? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. Oh, hockey. Examine. Do I really need to look at that? I haven't practiced since high school. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Not sure I'm big I'm a big fan on um how slow the game runs. Not like on my PC, just in general, like it's just a very slow game, you know. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter, why are y'all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well I figured, hey bro, I just wanna leave give my twin a shout before reuniting after ten years of swing juvie. It's more like letter territory, whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight, see? Anyway, I can't wait. You'll be out for real in a few weeks. What's well, amazing? I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. Got my tires of place, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot and we can't be all car guys. Anyways... The Vecchies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. I uh, can't wait to ne can't wait to never think about that place again. Can't really wait. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. <laughs> oh. Songs of Innocence, the Transgender Man's Guide as Healthy Masculinity. Is this the same letter? Hey, Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeemable youth. Haha, <laughs> could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside. Fireweed, survival, rebellion, thanks, man, Tyler. Testosterone, testosterone, refill, TRX. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon.
cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Hmm. Help Perez with college admission essay. Hello, how's it going, man? Hope you're having a good day. Call Dr. Beck. Counseling sessions with Jeremy. Meet Aaron. Gardening program set up. Miscellaneous finished paperwork for escape with letter. November saying something for Allison. Hope you're having a good day, Tuvia Harda. Please give me water and sun, thanks. Don't be afraid to drop a follow. Thank you, man. Cute little bear. Ah, sunlight. Oh, didn't like it. <laughs> She decided he was probably not going to like it. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Hmm. <laughs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in. But once I did, it felt like home. Mm. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. <laughs> so he was kind of like, not kept captive, you know, but it definitely wasn't his choice. It was kind of juvie for him, you know, him staying there. Sucks, but I mean, you kill your mother even though it wasn't necessarily your no, fault. Really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up, and there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? 
higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? Mm. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. <laughs> not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? It's beautiful. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Just took a little screenshot there. Beautiful. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Left shift to reply. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views of plenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Hmm. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. <laughs> From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, 
I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Oh, jeez. For me? He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, hmm. or even Uncle. Eesh. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Was it a whale? Whoa! No place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. All right. It's so weird being back on this boat. Saboteur. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? I think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clinkit, Haida. I haven't been home in five years. My sister's planning to move to Juno. Good for her. Most <sighs> folks I know never tried living anywhere else. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking if we're related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. I'll see you around town. Hey, Allison. Can we take this scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Devil's Club Tea. Canoe for sale. Drop now. Drop in bed and breakfast.
Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing me for real is wild. Yeah, it was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone, hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no, that was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Kids are dicks. Yes, well, I only accept apologies in the form of chocolate. Deal. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> I guess we're ready to go. Share, right? Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? 
If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna appraise our house. <laughs> After you. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. Yes. Let's deal. Hey, it's locked, all right. Hey, it's locked, all right. Whoa. Bro, move. <laughs> You're going to open it? You're going to stare at the fucking woods? Okay. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? Always knew when you were lying to me. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Man, it's a pretty game. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Apparently I don't. It's locked. Seriously? Why haven't you checked the front door? Because true adventurers never walk a straight line. Exactly, dog. Exactly. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. Well, freaking, I'm looking. Good thing I remember this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? That's probably the shed's yeah. key. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. <sighs> yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's got to work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say? Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought them... How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? Ah, the Mad Hunter. That was some dark shit for two little kids. Yeah, that's why we liked it. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. 
How many sand castles did we build with- Aw, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. You gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Hmm. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Hey, it's locked, all right. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. Hopefully Mother Nature holds off on the blizzards until after we sell the house. Hmm. Had to find a way to get under the house. Oh, here we go. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, <sighs> probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Well, then we're probably gonna have to go to the tool shed. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess. Not play mean tricks. Whatever. You're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa. Did that just happen? 
I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us ten years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. Hmm. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. This is pretty trippy. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Probably the one with the. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Let's go put it in the birdhouse, huh? These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Okay, down there. Tyler? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. See you at the front door in a few minutes. Suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I think so. 
Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. And left again after the goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. on the right. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imagination. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. But a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. Mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Remember going sledding? I don't. I didn't live anywhere with snow. <laughs> Looks like there was just a party here. Some old furniture. Huh. He's happy. Tyler. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Hmm. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Here. Here we are. <laughs> so, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Marianne Ronan, Sam K, Tessa, $163. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Can't argue the odds. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. 
We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic blinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Not a total disaster, Ronan. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. We were so competitive about who measured taller. <laughs> like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, <laughs> none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. how much I miss the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. That big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah. That's great. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. Maybe she was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Hmm. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She pinched every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were. It was not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway.
Hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you'd love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. Yeesh. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Or your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Uh, I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Marianne's room. Agreed. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? I'm tired of her mess. Let's dig into ours. Right. Guess it's time to mainline nostalgia. Where'd you come from? This, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. <laughs> It's cute. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. <laughs> we, were, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Wow. Look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. <laughs> Open. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation. The Book of Goblins. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest the All these stories. I had oh, ideas geez. for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Oh, that's cool. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. 
With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Yikes. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. It's downstairs in her room. You think her room is still locked? Always was. But what happened? The Ice King finally caught the bad guy. His fury and anguish can be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake. And she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. <laughs> Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche.
torch, sword, torch, sword, coins. Moose frog bear. Moose frog bear. You sure you're going to be able to crack it? I'll be fine. I'm not stupid, you know. Sorry, sorry. Forgot I was talking to a puzzle master. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, torch. Torch, sword, and money. Magic sword, which would leap right out of the bearer's hands to defend them. Hmm. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I have a threat, which might freaking make it like that. Coins. Hmm. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold, which might freaking make it like that. Do you think you're any closer to an answer? I need help. I think I need some help. Okay, let's think this through. Okay, I read the story. What was I supposed to get from that? Look at the wheels. The symbols are the same as the animals in the story. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. And the princess had to guess who'd given her the presents. Yes, 
I bet we have to do the same thing. So the torch. It's supposed to reveal truth and separate good from evil. An ant could have used one of those. The animal we're looking for kind of sounds like a judge or a cop. Hmm. We didn't have any cops in the stories. But maybe just a rule follower? Yeah. I'll keep looking. So one of the animals gave her a sword. It must have been from someone who wanted to take care of her physically. I'm totally stumped by the bag of coins. Yeah, none of the animals were especially rich. Maybe it's not about the money then. Maybe it's about wanting to help someone in need. There we go. Boom, we're in. It's gotta be kind of creepy. Walking into your dead mother's room like that. solve the riddle <laughs> why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that where do you think we should start looking I don't know where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts It's here. I knew it. That was I fucking quick. knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off.
So she had the book. So my thought, my thought initially is, she, needs some air. she was trying to come to terms with like how to raise a transgender child, but also she was just kind of like, "Fuck it, I don't want to do this." So she was gonna send her to the, you know, the rehabilitation camp or whatever. So what I'm, cons- are they more mad at the fact that they were gonna send him to the camp, or are they kind of like, "Oh shit, she was kind of trying," and then she killed him, or he killed, he killed her, you know? So it's like, we'll never really know, you know? That's why I think that's why they're more upset than anything else. Just the fact that, like, oh, shit, maybe we didn't really have to kill her. Maybe she was just really upset or something. I don't know. There's really no knowing. Because the only one that really knows is Tyler. Because he's the one that killed her. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Mm. Cutting the hair. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Oh, jeez. Mom? Glad we found your diary. Me too. That's rough. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. It wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? That's what I'm saying. She was trying to, like... Maybe. Which... She wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. 
it wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Yeesh. Nah, we gotta find out, dog. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Yeah. Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe mm. a little. Yeah. It's just... You, he could have... You graduated three years ago. He could have came back. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Mm, yeah, don't say couldn't find the time. That's bullshit. It's not that I didn't want to see <sighs> I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. Mm -hmm. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone and God, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells. Allison, the smells. Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne. But we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while. Until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. Tyler thinks we should he didn't tell him. Want my help. He didn't want anyone when I asked to join the hockey team, it's like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm I gonna like keep the asking, I'll try again next week. She said Thanks. no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? 
Allison and I started writing a story what Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change everything. Why can't one of them happen to be a boy boy god? I saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great, but Mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it glory to war, Zion Zoom. Would Mom be happy if I could do what she wanted me to do? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault. Mom got angry again. She's such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice. I am sick of that dumb name, too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Mm -hmm. You believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. If you squint, you could almost forget Talos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. At time we tried to cross? Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. I don't want to be a ranger. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. Well, guess we better get going. And here I thought you'd never tear yourself away. Yeah, sorry. Views like this, I just tend to get lost in them. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. <laughs> Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known in Tyler's. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Oh, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. <laughs> uh, Alaskan. I am a man, I'm just me. There we go.
you know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh, I've never seen a dude. Alaska, Sam, ladies and gentlemen. That's not how you say that. <laughs> say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. That's a very good point. Imagine being transgender or gay in like a third world country and like how hard it's got to be for everyone else to kind of, you know, know what to say and stuff like that. Like, granted, it gives them no excuse, but. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know, like patching the roof, checking the pipes and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just. You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad, good. It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. <laughs> of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too. Should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks said they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Hmm. you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well. She may have one or two left. Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, 
Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out. Myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Hmm. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Damn, Tyler. Okay, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Old memories, good, bad, a lot of them. It does make you feel some type of way going your like your childhood home, though. Every time I go, I feel a little weird, you know, because of all the memories, you know. You're like, think, ah, back when I used to play on the PlayStation Two, my old house in California. Used to go to this grocery store, used to go to that grocery store, there's my old school, you know, things like that. It just makes you a part of who you are, and whether it's good or bad, it's like, it makes you feel some kind of way. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hmm. Veni Vidi Vecchi? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24/7, so I feel like I already know you. <laughs> So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. 
We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. <laughs> She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Hmm. Cool. Extreme bubble gum. How can I say no to that? Should we go? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go inside. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. All the good fishing spots are marked. Later. We've got some shopping to do. Michael, you want me to pick up some bird syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you see my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fit you only live once. Hey Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Hmm. Need help with something? No, I'm just doing inventory. You don't want in on this. Trust me. So cleaning closet. You think we should get the organic one or the industrial strength planet killer? Judging by the state of the house, I think we're gonna need top of the line. Planet killer it is then. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Ah, oh, man. Marianne used to sample everything from the bulk bins. Tessa hated it. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. I'm grabbing some water. 
You do you, girl. <laughs> One bottle of water. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. One bottle of water. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department. That's funny. You should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Tom Vecchi for mayor, baby. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. Hmm. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Hmm. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Ugh. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? <laughs> I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird. Tom's just like, yeah, I'm gonna just completely ignore you. Uh, you know, yeah. heckling my wife. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Vote, vote Tom Vecchi for mayor. Okay, so now where are we going? You gonna go beat her up? Buy a gun? Oh, shit. Hold up. Oh, there it is. Hey, guys. You all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Ooh. Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? So she owed her money? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Oh, what? 
I want to talk to you now. Please. So let's just talk for a few minutes. Would you be going to be okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What's wrong with you? Hmm. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. Hard. <laughs> what do you hard. Think they were arguing about me. Oh, just. I don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. It sounds like she was just. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. <clears throat> Tessa, we know you're a lying bitch. So come on, spill the truth. Come on. Dude, we're gonna extort your husband, make sure he doesn't make it for mayor. You know what I'm saying? Can I help you, Allison? I'm just gonna oh, steal your no, shit. No, thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. <laughs> like what? Any loan she? What's this doing here? I'm just gonna steal real quick. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? She's given out stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. No, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Hmm. It's cute. Is there something I can do for you? Put ease into it, how about it? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh... Thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the <clears throat> office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. No, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> but duh. <laughs> but there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. 
I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. <laughs> What'll they think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Is it right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Do you think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Oh, she gave her the pamphlet for the, uh... What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. This is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. We gotta go get it. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Good People's Business? Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder! Could you ask Tom to play it again? You run that shit back. 
Sorry, uh, can you put the song back on? Huh, here it is. We should have Tom play the song one more time. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Hey, let's ask Tom to put the song back on. Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? <sighs> I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. You working tonight? No. Thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take you. That is no way to live. <laughs> Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong. She has to triple check everything. Like we'd go full on Lord of the Flies if there was one too many frozen pizzas. It kind of sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. Later. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. There's going to be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Oh, got it. <laughs> Hypothesis.
Is there something I can do for you? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. August 2004. That's when she stopped paying off her debts to you, right? August? No, that doesn't sound right. I distinctly remember her helping during the summer rush. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I t I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind <clears throat> of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So I need to ask you to leave. Sure. We'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah. Uh. Um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Hmm. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about. Which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last ten years, and now it's gone. I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, like maybe you didn't have to kill her. But then why did she try to kill you? Like, Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. 
But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Hmm. This first chapter sure is taking a bit, isn't it? This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. What about drunk bears? Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Cute. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving off home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year. Hopefully this doesn't weird her out. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Damn. Poor D. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. <laughs> it's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year. And she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit she's learning to out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. <laughs> We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. Or find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Huh. Is that like an shit? Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mm, Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great.
Something's in the way. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox beneath it. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it's a bad joke. Mm, Eddie must have locked it already. What do you know? Still locked. Tyler, you coming? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. He was trying to get in the armory. Do you think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. <sighs> Something's in the way. Okay, let's go in. Hmm. Yep, it's locked. Ugh, we've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. I'm not that hungry. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. <clears throat> Too much on my mind. Too much These on my mind. couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay?
can do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, sure. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vape. Here, um, have a seat. All right. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. <clears throat> I need to ask him a few questions now. Come with me. try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. <laughs> whole clan. And how do you? How you work with those kids at Fireweed? I would say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. <laughs> look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. The 
Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Hmm. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us, or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Mm. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that, and three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <clears throat> Shit. Being kept apart was wrong. Eddie did his best for me. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. What's, what is that? What? Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you!
Holy shit! Shit. Now I feel like a dick. Uh, Allison said, oh, he was protecting me. What the hell? Episode one, done. <sighs> Tell me why. I like it, I like it. Did not expect that, honestly. Cause that just makes me feel like kind of an asshole. You know, cause as Allison, I was like, oh, well, Eddie was protecting me, but like, why would you say that? You should have been like, well, no, we protect each other. Fuck, now I feel like an asshole for saying that. Damn it. All right, well, I'm AZ Player 21. Thank you guys. I'm gonna be playing. Uh, tell me why more. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it in its entirety, hopefully, and uh, posting it here on YouTube for you guys. So I appreciate you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. As always, if you guys have watched all the way through, follow me on Twitch. Links to everything are gonna be down in the description below. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.